If you'd like to come along for a photo adventure and learn more about Aperture Priority, then stay tuned. This video is for you. It's been a long time since I uploaded my last video. I bet it's been seven, eight, or nine months. I've just been busy with everyday life, and I have the opportunity to go out and take some good shots. Now, you might be saying, hey, where are you at? Well, I'm in the great state of South Carolina, and more specifically, I'm sitting on Hilton Head Island right now. I have the day to go out and grab some photos, and that's what I intend to do. Today, I have the Nikon D600 body along with the 24 to 85 zoom lens. Now, this video is not so much about the camera body or the lens itself. It's really about shooting in aperture priority. It's what I like to shoot in and I shoot in it most often simply because I like to control my background. I like to control that bokeh and that blur and just how much light really gets to the sensor. For me, it's just what I stay in. Sometimes I go into manual mode and I'll have fun with that as well. I usually do that if I want to get creative or I'm taking a night shot, things like that. But like I do with my other videos, I'm going to post all that metadata and that's all the information that the camera is using to capture that particular shot. And I'm going to post it in all the shots that I take. So keep an eye in the upper left hand corner and you'll see all the settings that the camera uh, had when that particular shot was taken. So with that said, I don't really have a set plan for today. It's probably right around noon. Uh, the sun's up, uh, might be a little rain later. I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna make my way around the island and just see what I can capture. Now, uh, at some point, I'm gonna make my way back to the great state of Indiana. And when I do, I may stop off in a mountainous area and do some hiking and, and kind of get into the back country. Um, I'm flying by the seat of my pants on that one, so I don't know if I'm gonna make that happen, but we'll find out um, as I get into the video. So with all that said, I invite you to take a step back from your daily life. If it's hectic, just relax, take a deep breath, unwind, and enjoy this video. Come along and let's have some fun. Yeah, we gonna be all right. Find a different remedy, the toxins make you change. Rest in peace to Richie, shit'll never be the same. Yeah, you know it's all good. We gon' be alright. Yeah, yeah, we gon' be alright. Yeah, you know it's all good. We gon' be alright. Yeah, you know it's all good. We gon' be alright. Yeah, yeah, we gon' be alright. Yeah, you know it's all good. We gon' be alright. I think it's time I smoke. It's been a hell of a long day. I've been busy searching, trying to find a better way. Slowly on my homies, either dead or in the cage. Rest in peace to Richie, shit'll never be the same. No, no spirit with me, that shit really ease the pain. If you can relate, this to you, I dedicate. Just remember, there gon' always be some better days. Gotta keep your head up, you can get through anything. Yeah, I know it's shitty, but I swear it's just a face. You can take down anything, but that's TDA. Sipping on this whiskey and it really numb my brain. Find a different remedy than toxins we can change. I think it's time I smoke, it's been a hell of a long day. I've been busy searching, trying to find a better way. Slowly on my homies, either dead or in the cage. Rest in peace to Richie, shit'll never be the same. No, no spirit with me, that shit really ease the pain. If you can relate, this to you, I dedicate. Just remember, there gon' always be some better days. Gotta keep your head up, you can get through anything. Yeah, I know it's shitty, but I swear it's just a face. You can take down anything, bitch, that's TDA. Sipping on this whiskey and it really numb my brain. Find a different remedy, them toxins make you change. Find a different remedy, them toxins make you change. Find a different remedy, them toxins make you change. Yeah, you know it's all good. We gon' be alright. Yeah, yeah, we gon' be alright. Yeah, you know it's all good. We gon' be alright. video nor will my photos do this scene the justice because it is just awesome it's windy up in here and I'm in the clouds 
and um, it's so peaceful. You can just see the sun setting over here. Yeah, it's, this video is not going to do it justice. You've got the mountain range out here. Um, wow, it is just simply breathtaking, you know. Um, the temperature's definitely much colder. Here I am in shorts. A short sleeve shirt on and shorts on. Um, I mean, it's probably in the 50s right now, maybe upper 50s, maybe low 60s if I'm lucky. But wow, what a sight. It is just really awesome. Um, I'm going to camp out somewhere nearby and we're going to get up and we'll take a look at the uh, what the sunrise might have. So that's facing west where the sun's setting. Maybe if we get the sun up high enough, it'll illuminate the mountains back there. But this is just awesome. Oh, wow. The sun's just now going down. Just in the time I'm shooting this video, it's just about down. So I need to get moving so I can get back down there. It's in the early morning and I camped out overnight. Um, I have confirmed this is Max Patch Mountain and we are actually in the clouds. Um, I'm not sure of the exact elevation here but I think we're over 4,000 feet. You can see past me maybe just a little bit. Um, it's actually really serene and it's very cool. Not great for photos but um, it's just quiet and super peaceful and after seeing that sunset last night um, The Sun should be rising soon Although I'm not certain how long it's gonna take to burn off this uh, this cloud deck here, so we'll find out but uh, It's very very cool out here. It's about 530 uh, Maybe 6 in the morning. It's a little windy But uh, we'll see if we can take some photos as the Sun starts to rise Again, uh, I'm, a, I'm a little optimistic, but not so certain it's going to happen. Um, we're actually on part of the Appalachian Trail right now because it kind of runs right through this. So that's pretty cool. But uh, let's we'll see what we can get and have some more fun. Leaving on a midnight train, take me far away from here. is the Pishkoff National Forest and it's just awesome out here. You can see that the sun finally broke through and you can take a look at, uh, that's the summit up there. So you can actually climb up there and you can hang out. Um, yeah, really, really cool trip. Catch you from the garden, better say prayer. This said, no, bless us, mercy, safety. I'm on the Appalachian Trail right now, and I just came across a gentleman who gave me a little warning saying that there is a black bear down here, uh, about a half mile down. So I'm keeping my eyes open for that. Um, 
you always need to be cautious in bear land you know you want to move very carefully don't run um, I think last resort is you know it's just gonna be an all-out fight back and hopefully we don't have to get into that um, but we're gonna keep on moving Let's see what kind of shots we can get till I find, find my time for me to head back home. I've been out here for the last few days and camped out a couple of nights and I've really had a lot of fun taking these landscape shots and those water shots and again keeping in mind that all of these shots were taken in aperture priority. Now that's mainly what I shoot with and it's simply because I like to control the background or the bokeh and you can also manipulate the shutter speed by doing that as well. If you just close that aperture down you'll get a longer shutter. I also feel that every lens has a sweet spot, which is usually around an f8, 9, or 10. Now, you can close it down much further if you want um, to get more of that focus, or if you really want the bokeh, um, just open it wide. So, you know, it's all about creativity and what you're trying to get from any particular shot. So, nonetheless, I hope you had fun coming along for this adventure, and I am curious to know what uh, you may want me to look at going forward. Now, it's been a long time since I posted my last video, and I've received a lot of questions around smartphone technology and computational photography, and I do have some thoughts on that. Um, I don't know if you'd be interested in it. If so, again, let me know, and maybe I'll throw together a video on it. Now, if you want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'm going to post links in the description below as well, so feel free to do so. If you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. It's called Real World. More often than not, I post videos about photography and technology, but you never know. So until the next video, take care of yourself and be safe.